Good morning, Bill Hurtado, Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Thanks for tuning in for a, another YouTube episode. Uh, today, it's my privilege to show you one of our latest acquisitions here is a 2020 Winnebago Revel. You may notice it's a little bit of a wet, rainy May day. That's a reference to the month, not a distress signal. I wanna tell you a little bit about this uh, this nice unit right here. The Revel is one of the hottest selling products on the market these days. Uh, we've sold probably 20 of them in the last month. It's just been fantastic. What's hard to come by are good pre-owned models that people can save a lot of money on. And this fits the bill perfect. So a few things I wanna tell you about this. This is on the Sprinter 2500 chassis. That's the three quarter ton chassis. And just like all the other Sprinters from 08 and above, it has the three liter V6, 188 horsepower, 325 pound feet of torque engine. It also has the seven speed transmission in this one. This was originally outfitted by Winnebago with the larger tires and wheels. Uh, those are the method wheels. They're really nice looking. And the KO2 BF Goodrich tires. You may notice, looking right down here, uh, this light is on. That's on all four corners, fore and aft on all the running boards. That's nice perimeter lighting. There's a separate switch for that inside. The rest of these are going to be running lights. So down low and up above. So very nice, uh, nice view. You can see this thing from a long ways away coming at you. Um, I'm going to go around the outside and show you a few things on this. Up on the roof, there's two large solar panels. This has 200, and, uh, excuse me, 200 watts of solar wired into a controller. And then you have the ability to add more solar to it right here, if you so desire. You can put a panel outside. So this controller is upgradable up to 510 watts. So nice system there. You got a patio outlet outside in case you want to run something on electricity outside here. This hasn't changed on the Revel since day one. This ladder right here is removable and lockable. And you may notice when you look up at the top, there's two cups on the top of this. And the idea is you can take this ladder off, you can go anywhere down the driver's side and it'll hook along that rail. So no matter what area you want to get to on top of the roof here, you can access it real easily. And then the rubber pads on the back side here just rest against it. So climb right up, do what you got to do. Very nice. I'll show you the back here while we're here because we have limited amount of space inside to move around. I have the bed in the raised position right now, and that gives us this cavernous space back here. Now, if you want to bring kayaks or well, just about anything that's long in here, uh, you've got plenty of room for that or something very tall. Of course, that'll have to come out when you bring the bed down to sleep on that, uh, but multifunctional, multi-purpose use on this thing. From the back back here, I do have hot and cold running water. There's a little pigtail hose that plugs in there so you can use your hot water hot and cold water outside however you wish your water pump switch to turn on and off from outside here and then you've also got another ac outlet and usb ports back here as well you'll notice on the floor it has six tie down points to anchor your gear back here so very nice setup there it's nice and warm in there right now I turned on the heating system in this thing about 15 minutes ago and it's already up to temperature. It's a very, very efficient system on this thing. It has, uh, it has a diesel fired burner that warms up a vessel of glycol that circulates through the entire unit. I'll show you the controls on that when we get inside. This will come with a 30 amp cord that plugs in over here and of course goes to your campsite 
to give you AC power inside. When you do that, of course, you don't have to use the 2000 watt inverter that's on board already. This is a really nice feature on the Revel. It's a cassette toilet. And the idea here is there is a pull out tank that goes in here. We've got it out right now. Uh, this five gallon supply, but this is totally independent of the rest of the water system. So if you want to use this unit in the winter time, you can keep it winterized, but still use the toilet in here. So that's very nice. You have a 21 gallon holding tank and 21 gallon fresh supply on this. Hose simply connects here, goes out to your campsite, dump your tank. You have a black tank flush out on this thing. Um, that is uh, very nice because you can clean out your tank and watch everything come through. Some of the sewer hoses have a little short section of clear on them now, so you know when that's sanitized in there. All right, like I mentioned, the heating system is on right now, and that'll operate on AC power plugged in or turning the switch on to the diesel fired burner. So underneath here is where that heating unit is for the vessel of glycol. And I feel a little bit of heat coming out of this right now. Um, normally it's blowing a little bit more, but it's already up to temperature within that 15 minute span there. Really, really nice system, very efficient. On the coldest of days, it'll barely use over a gallon of fuel in a 24 hour span right there for your comfort heating. So that's really nice. You also have your hot water line uh, connected through that, so you'll have unlimited hot water. Of course, with only 21 gallon supply, that's a feature you probably want to use when you're at the campground hooked up. All right, so moving along here, show you a few things under the hood. Many of you have seen this several times, but I want you to see how easy it is to get to everything right here. Be it your coolant reservoir, your brake reservoir, uh, access to jump starting from your battery. Battery is not under the hood here. It is outside underneath the two seats for your, uh, for your chassis and your house. And then uh, oil fill check, everything. Very easy to get to. Uh, nice setup by Mercedes. They've made it very simple. Oh, and DEF goes up in the front, diesel emission fluid. And there's an indicator in the uh, electronic display on the dash that'll let you know when that's getting low. All right. So I wanna show you inside here. There is a table leg behind the seat over here that you can't see, but that'll connect over here and allow this table to work outside for you. And then you have your ability to fill the tank over here, drain your tanks, and very important, easy to winterize yourself. So you bring it into a dealership and they're gonna charge you probably around $200 to winterize. We will show you how to winterize this yourself in about 15 minutes for the cost of one gallon of antifreeze, about five bucks not engine antifreeze, RV antifreeze, big difference. All right, so let me go inside and show you As you can see, there's a lot of space back here. I showed you this outside, but you can get a lot of a lot of stuff in here uh, depending on how you want to use this thing. Maybe you want to move furniture across town. This will do it for you. Simple pantry, adjustable shelves in here. Working my way up this direction, you do have an induction cooktop up here. Uh, that will work on AC power only. But remember, you do have the 2000 watt inverter that powers up every outlet in here and the cooktop over here. Uh, pretty generous with the amount of space in the cabinetry. Three drawers in the galley. Because the um, 
sink water here has to get over to the black tank or rather the holding tank on the other side, there is a little pump built in over here. That'll draw that over for you. One of my favorite things, 12 volt refrigerator. The benefits of a 12 volt refrigerator versus an RV refrigerator that runs on both gas and electric. The 12 volt refrigerator will cool down about four times faster than an absorption style refrigerator. It does not have to be level like an absorption style refrigerator. You can basically operate this thing upside down if you so desire. Um, and then even though it looks very small right here, there's actually quite a bit of space because it goes all the way back. Whereas an absorption style, of course, can only go about two thirds of the way back. So it has the cooling fins in the way right there. So very nice. I'm a big fan of 12 volt refrigerators. Okay, let me open this bifold door right here and show you this area here you can use as closet, food storage, whatever you like. These will remove out of here and then it becomes your wet bath. So combination toilet and shower all in one. Um, your same piece up here is what you saw in the back that your hose connects to so you can have your hot and cold running water inside here. And something that not a lot of people know when you're looking at the toilet down here, this will actually spin sideways. So you can use this with the door closed. Little extra added privacy that way. Okay, control panel over here. This is pretty nice. So first of all, I wanna show you um, the bed operation. It's key lockable and that'll drop down into position here for us. I'm six feet tall and I fit on the bed just fine with room to spare at both ends. It's very nice. It's got the built-in box spring down below right here. And your lighting, there is a switch over here. So the lighting in the bedroom, the lighting in the living room, and the indirect lighting underneath here. Uh, these are adjustable up and down for high and low settings. And let's find the right one here. There we go, high and low, okay. And now, working our way across here, as you can see, I've got the system turned on. System's enabled right now, and I have the furnace on right here. Um, so what I'm doing is, once the furnace is on, it'll allow this to set my temperature up and down. Remember, it's a circulatory system with that glycol. So it blows heat out evenly through the entire unit right here. Very, very nice. This is the 2000 watt inverter I was talking about. And at the risk of sounding redundant, it powers up every outlet in the unit, including the induction cooktop over here. So you're traveling down the road. The co-pilot can come back here, cook a meal, take a nap, use the restroom, whatever you like. Everything is easily usable the entire time you're going down the road. All right, um, I mentioned it has 200 watts of solar on board right now. Remember, you've got the auxiliary hookup outside on the corner. You can add additional solar if you so desire. If you plan on being off grid for a long time, you may want to go more than 200 watts, but that's pretty good. 200 watts is really good. Uh, the units today have 190, so bonus. All right, we've got a water pump access switch here. And remember, I showed you the one in the back in case you're standing outside. Um, and this will tell us our tank levels and battery condition over here. So really nice. Everything is very easy to operate and get to. Uh, you can use the water heater on the diesel fired burner or via electricity, okay? All right, if I can switch places with everybody here, I wanna show you some stuff towards the front. This is, uh, this is something that has changed on 
these newer ones like this, I'm sorry, on these older ones like this, being a 2020 versus the brand new ones. Um, I really like this better over here. Well, I wanna show you, both of these seats will swing around and face this way. That gives us a nice living room area right here. Four people can sit there. But they've done this table a little bit different. So nowadays you've got a slot over there and you drop the table in and it's a swivel and moves. This one here um, comes up into position. This can be open like this when the passenger back here is just riding along. Or with all the seats down, this will flip all the way over and then it's a nice table for you to use between this direction. So turns it into a dinette, so to speak. Okay, so basically up here, everything is the same as it's always been. Um, this does have the lane assist feature, the automatic braking, the Distronic cruise control. That means that it'll keep your span between you and the car in front of you up there. So active cruise on that. Um, this has two mouse controlled pads right here that will this controller here will handle everything on this screen this controller over here will handle things on that screen if you're not comfortable with taking your eyes off the road well how about this hey mercedes how can i help you can do voice command on this so i don't want to get into an argument with her over things right now uh, but that's also disableable if you, if you don't want to use that feature. So you do have four-wheel drive with low range accessibility with these buttons down here. You've got automatic headlights and power door locks, remote mirrors, uh, great uh, uh, climate control for right and left passenger and driver. Uh, it's really an excellent system multi-position seats right here so the bottom will slide out the back will tip down the the seat base itself will tilt up and down of course rotating lumbar support all of that's built in right now to it and uh, it makes it very nice however this one does not have the nor do the new ones uh, the power seats so everything is manual on this um, there's a lot of adjustments that you can make on this so Take your time and figure out where everything is. Of course, we'll show you when you get ready to drive this off the lot. Give you a full tutorial on how to use everything inside. All right, so like I had said earlier, the Revel is probably the hottest selling B van, fully self-contained on the market today. A lot of people looking for something pre-owned. Here it is, right here. Excellent unit. Excellent condition, 27,000 miles on this. Uh, and that's important to know because you still have the remainder of the five year, 100,000 mile drivetrain warranty on this front to back. In fact, there's about five months left on the rest of the chassis, you know, be it your suspension and those type of things. But the powertrain, that's important because uh, five year, 100,000 is, is way out there. So, Thank you for watching my presentation of the 2020 Revel by Winnebago. Appreciate you checking in. My name's Bill Hurtado, Transwest Truck Trailer RV. I think my number's down here on the screen. I hope it is because I know you're going to be calling me very soon. Thanks so much.